Douglas, uh, Carroll Street returning to uh, Happy Valley. Uh, how did you rate his run down the straight at Chartin last start? Yeah, I thought he he ran with a lot of purpose. He probably got a, a touch further back. He was following the right horse, but didn't, didn't quite take him into the race at the right time. And um, I thought he hit the line strongly. How's the season been? Because he, he didn't start till sort of earlier this year. Has there been a few sort of issues with him sort of in the early part of the season? Not necessarily. He, he had a good break. He did a, a really good job last season and he, he climbed up significantly in the in the handicaps. Um, there are, there's few and far races between for him unfortunately. He's pretty limited. He seems to do his best over the thousand. Um, he, he, he has he has run well at the valley before but his pet distance is the straight thousand. You mentioned the races are a few and far between. Is that why you've got to go to Happy Valley because that's where the, the latest opportunity presents itself? Absolutely. There, obviously there's no races at, at Chartin and, and he's in no man's land as far as the rating goes, so he, um, he is a bit vulnerable and a very difficult horse to place. But fortunately, this thousand does come up at the valley, and um, look, it's a, it's a small enough field, very competitive field, but the horse is healthy. What about your season um, as a trainer? 36 uh, winners, in fact, 37 with, of course, uh, Monday night shots in Flaming Rabbit. Uh, you've been around the world to Dubai with Russian Empire, won in Qatar. Um, no doubt one of the most satisfying seasons you've ever had. Yeah, it's been very satisfying, been very frustrating to say the least, uh, a lot of second places and placings, but I suppose if your horses are running consistently and running well, that's all you can ask, but yeah, if a couple of those seconds had, had gone my way, it, uh, it would have been the perfect season. Quickly on uh, Flaming Rabbit from Monday night, uh, what sort of opportunities are going to present, do you think, for this horse uh, further down the track? Well, he's done his job now, he's, he's won the owners their bonus, and I think in a, in a short space of time, he's, he's really produced what I think is a, is a top effort. He's, he's given a, a good account of himself every time he stepped out. He's got tremendous gait speed and he's got a, a really good idling, galloping uh, speed as well. I think next season, um, with a break now, he, he could bounce back and, and, and be one of my bigger, better horses for the season. Jerry, nice birdie. You've ridden him on three occasions and he's had a, a few placings for you. Well, how do you feel he's going at the moment? Has he been maybe a little disappointing not to get his head in front? Um, yeah, it's a little bit. I, I thought he, he can win win uh, last time, but he he's, he he a bit one pace. Uh, when I uh, ride him, I, I can feel when he pick up the speed and he just stayed up one pace in the streak. So I suggest um, they, need, they need to try to up the distance and, and see um, he, he, um, he can get a winner. What about um, he's raced in a few posi different positions, he's sort of led and he's also come from the back. What do you feel sort of his best sort of racing style is at this point? At this point I think he needs to be handy position and try to just uh, follow the, the, the pace and and just um, chase only one or two links and I think he can stay on. What about your season, Jerry? You've had 22 winners, not quite double the amount of seconds, currently sitting on 37 seconds. How would you uh, sum up your uh, season so far? Um, so far at this moment, um, it's not a uh, wish to the target. Uh, my target is uh, try to uh, maintain the winner last season, 30. But um, I got six day suspension uh, last month and I, I lost some winner and some support. And, but, um, but this season, um, the uh, careless riding, I dropped uh, half and then I think it's, it's my improvement and, um, and uh, hopefully next season can, can improve again. Pierre Ong has been doing a little bit of mentoring with you. Um, what sort of some, what's some of the advice that Pierre has shared with you over the last season? Um, this season, I need to thank you him a lot because I, I, ride, I ride for him in the track work uh, literally every day. And when I when I saw uh, saw him in the stable, we were talk, uh, talking about the uh, the race, and and he will he will um, um, tell me some. Um, I I'm not really thinking, yeah, and and it's good to learn learn from him. And the other big support is um, uh, Ben Oyong, and he he give me a lot of support, and and he teach me and many things, and we really thank you to him.
Karras, a master tornado for Chris So. Well, last start ran third from a, a wide gate at Happy Valley over 1650. Uh, how did you see the run? It was a good run. Of course, he was dropped down the class, uh, but he had it a tough way from the outside gate. Uh, he had to make a, make a long run to the first turn, but you know he, he eventually got got to the front. And uh, you know, I thought I thought in a straight he he, he ran a good race considering how how did the race plan for him. Yeah, with that early pressure, did it just take some of the, the late fire out of him at the finish? Yeah, for sure. You know, you always have to, uh, have to burn some uh, petrol and some energy from, from that wide gate to get across. But uh, if he gets a gate uh, on, on Thursday, then I think it should be more helpful to him. He's had the blinkers on his last two, and you rode him earlier in the season without the blinkers on. Have they, they definitely helped him, do you believe? Yeah, he, I think it, it definitely helped him last time, for sure. Uh, he's a horse that, you know, that uh, I think a late mature, I must say. Uh, he felt like since I rode him beginning of the season, even in his trial, he he was a totally different horse. So, you know, I think I think he should get his chance again in the class, and uh, let's hope he done well. We're down to the last a handful of uh, meetings for the season. You've had just over uh, 50 winners. Um, are you satisfied with that compared? Well, especially with the issues you had earlier on with the the thyroid. Um, is it a, more than a pass mark? Do you believe? Yeah, of course, it's uh, it's definitely past me now. I don't look back at it, but uh, you know, of course, uh, it does interrupt into your season to to be to be off uh, from the beginning of the season into like a, oh, I was off for three months almost. So considering uh, what I've went through, uh, I, I still think uh, you know I had a good season. Um, you know, I still uh, you know I've, I've been picking up ride uh, everywhere wherever I could. So you know, overall, almost finishing now, but uh, I should be should be happy and. Already looking forward to next season. In terms of the medical issues uh, you've had, what have you had to do just to keep on top of that uh, since you got the all clear? Actually, the thyroid issue has gone already. Uh, so it was just a, just a temporary uh, issue. And uh, we've done a few blood check and there's nothing. So they think it was just uh, just for a few months and it was uh, mostly caused because of I got COVID. So, but it's gone. And, you know, like I said, it's past me. Just looking forward now to the future. Ricky, you lucky eight. He's been a consistent horse uh, for your stable this uh, season. How do you feel he's gone? Uh, yeah, he's been very consistent uh, throughout the season, and uh, I think he's, he's still he will still run well, you know, uh, according to his track work. Has he been a little bit frustrating not to get another win on the board because he's, he's never been too far away, has he? Yes, I think uh, because of the had a, had a bad draw or uh, the, 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 the tempo of the race is not suited to him, and they. Uh, so, so that's why we, we, um, we try a different jockey on him this time, to see, uh, try another luck. How's he come on since his last run? Because it was about 37 days ago, I think. Yes, he's, he, he's still doing well. He's, like I said, he's, he's very consistent. He, uh, he's a good doer, you know? Yeah. How do you feel your season's gone? Um, you've had 55 for winners uh, so far, um, Derby winner, Voyage Bubble. Um, the, the season's been very good for you, hasn't it? Yeah. The, uh, I must say the most ex exciting win uh, was the... Uh, the four hour series, I, over, I went over Lamar and even uh, the Derby. This is the most exciting one. But uh, generally speaking, uh, I would expect more winners than up to now. We always want more winners. Um, quickly, you have always had a reputation of always buying really nice horses out of the, the sales in New Zealand and Australia. What, what's the sort of thing that you've always looked for? Because you've been very successful for a long time at buying these types of horses. Uh, Put it this way, uh, I uh, try to go with the flow. You know, they uh, look for the up and coming sire, the um, fashionable sire that um, they have the good statistics in the, either uh, New Zealand or Australia. So, and, um, and then the um, decent size place the most important part too. Gotta have a decent size horses in Hong Kong.